guys welcome back to big john tv on today's what's cooking wednesday i have a viewer requested recipe after doing our corn stripping gadget video we had several requests for a corn chowder so today i'm trying my hand at a corn chowder i've never made one before so let's see how it goes all right, we've got our Instant Pot on and it's set to saute. This is why I like using it better than a standard crock pot because I can saute in here and not have to get another pot dirty. So awesome. So let's get our bacon going. We're gonna add in eight strips of bacon. All right, those look good. We're gonna pull our bacon out. We're gonna add in about two tablespoons of butter. And one medium onion. And we'll saute this until the onion is soft and translucent. Once our onions start to soften up, we're going to add in two cloves of garlic. This has been crushed. And a quarter cup of flour. Next, we're going to start adding in our corn. We need eight ears. You want to get all the good milk out of these. So take your spoon, run it along until it's really dry and clean looking. If you didn't see Monday's video, go back and check it out. This was our favorite corn stripping tool. You can make this recipe using frozen corn. If you do, you're not gonna have all this extra juice. Uh, this is the really sweet part of the corn. Some of it call it some people call it the corn milk. If you're not using fresh corn, you can add like a teaspoon of honey to your mix to give it that extra sweetness. Alright, so we've used up the remainder of our corn from our corn stripping test as well. That is eight total ears. We're going to add in one pound of Yukon Gold potatoes. We'll add in half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. We can adjust the salt and pepper to taste after 
it's finished cooking I prefer to add only a little bit now and the rest later and finally we're gonna add in five cups of water All right, we've set it on to slow cook for six hours. We'll be back. All right, this has been cooking for about six and a half, seven hours. You'll know it's done when your potatoes are fork tender. Look at that, Poke. super tender. We're gonna take our immersion blender and blend just a little bit of this. We don't want it all pureed. We do want some chunks in there. So let's go. All right, that looks pretty good. I can still see chunks of corn in there, a little bit of potatoes, but for the most part, it's blended down. All right, and now we're gonna add in one cup of heavy whipping cream. Let's test this for the salt level real quick. That's incredibly sweet. I think it could use just a little bit more salt. We're gonna add one teaspoon and stir this in. New clean spoon, one more taste. Perfect, let's go. There we go, a super simple recipe for corn chowder in the Instant Pot. Let's bowl some of this up and give it a taste. The corn chowder is Thank done. You. We garnished it with a little bit of dried chives, a little bit of cheese, and then the bacon we cooked off at the beginning. Smells good to me. Not chowder, soup, or stew weather yet. I know. It's For like 70 degrees outside. I'm a little bit hot <laughs> to be eating a soup. For the record. But it looks and smells fantastic. Oh, man. It mostly ended up on the ground. Yeah, good. Great flavor in there. Super fresh corn that's, taste. That's delicious. Really creamy, but there's still some stuff to chew. Mm -hmm. The bacon adds a nice salty flavor. That's nice. That's perfect. Uh, there's nothing I would do differently in this. What about you? I agree. I would sit down with it and not eat it over the floor. <laughs> right? That's good. This is fantastic. So let me know if you guys have tried corn chowder before. Mm -hmm. This was a first for us. Delicious. Yeah, I don't know why we've never done this before. Right. We do all the other broccoli and potato and all yeah. those kind of stoops. Stoops. Stoops and stews. Yep. All right, good job. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yep. Make sure you do all the things. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. See you.